Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi boys and girls, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Hey, today we're going to be looking at parts of a whole. I'm going to go, wait a minute, what do you mean by that? Well, we're talking fractions. Now, I've gone over fractions before, where you've seen this here where I have one whole, and I split it up to halves, quarters, eighths, sixteenths, and such. But I'm finding that when there's graphic representations, that sometimes there's a problem. Let's take a look. For example, I have two circles here, and those are one whole circle each. So it's one whole, it's one whole piece. If over here, I split it up into fourths. One, two, three, four. There's four pieces, so it'd be called fourths. Okay, or quarters, because, think about this, if this is like one dollar, there's four quarters and a dollar. That's four quarters make one whole dollar. We represent this here as one over four, so one bar four numerator, the denominator is 4, numerator is 1. But wait, what happens when I say I want you to find the equivalent fraction when your circle is broken up to this? And I go, well, wait a minute. What is that? Well, let's take a look. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight pieces. So that makes it, we have eighths. That's E-I-G-H, eighths. And we represent one eighth, one eighth, as one over eight. We have one as the numerator and the denominator is eight because it's one piece of eight. Eight is the whole. So we can say, you know, this over here, this is equal to the one, is equal to four over four, okay? Four pieces over four pieces. And this is one is equal to eight over eight. Not losing you, hopefully. Now, I want to find out what's the equivalent. What equals this right here over here? Well, look at your circle. Look what I just did. I drew this like that and that. So it's going to be, take a, two of those eights. So that's going to be two over eight. Therefore, I can say, I can write this out, not say it, but I can write it, I can say it too. I can say one fourth equals two eights. Okay, we've looked at that circle with fours, but let's look at, at different models to work with. So let's take a look. We're going to create these bars. I'm going to have two of these bars, and, the, and I'm just going to say they're equal length, equal width. These are approximations. If you want perfection and precision and accuracy, you can use a ruler. But right now, this is just a model. So up here, I'm going to split this into thirds, and again, it's approximation. I have one, two, three, approximately equal squares there. Now, I want to have this down here as six, so what I do is I just follow those thirds, okay, and then I'm going to split it up even further. So each one of these, and I'm going to say this is 3 over 3, and this right here is 6 over 6, because it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pieces that makes that whole, this is the whole, and this one has 3 over 3 because it has 1, 2, 3 pieces and it's over, that's one whole as well, okay? And we're just going to say for this problem, it, it, they are equal length and height and width and all that. Okay, so if I come up here and I color in this piece here, since it's, so it's of three, it's of three, so I have my uh, bar there, and then I'm going to have my denominator, so it's of three, and I'm just coloring in one 
of 3, so that's 1 third. But what if I do it down here? I'm coloring that piece that's, you know, these two pieces is equal to that one piece, but since I'm working with 6, I'm going to have that denominator as 6, and it's going to be 1 6, 2 6. So I have 2 6. And we can say that 1 6 plus 1 6 is equal to 1 third. Let's take a look. So, I, it, so that 2 6 is equal to 1 third. So that equals to 1 third. Okay. What we can do is we can divide each side by 2. And I'm just going to say divide by 2. And 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Because remember, any number divided by itself is equal to one whole. And then 6 divided by 2, okay, is equal to 3. There we go. Well, let's take a look at this a little bit more. What if I color in this 6 and this 6? How many thirds is that? Well, let's, take, let's count the 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Okay. If I go out and I divide that by 2 and divide that by 2, that is equal to, so 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. That's 2 thirds. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, so I can just say 2 thirds, I'll, I'll color in this end, because if I do that, look at that. 4 thirds, I'm sorry, 4 six is equal to 2 thirds. There you go. What other models can we come up with? Think about this, you know, what, what we have, we have equal parts of a whole, okay? Uh, we have uh, multiple different types of things to where we're, we're comparing it and such like that. Uh, but what if we talk about, uh, uh, you know, what is equivalent? equivalent fractions again. I, I want to get back into that. So let's take a look. So if I have two-fifths and I go, okay, well what's an equivalent fraction? Remember we can multiply the top and bottom by the same number. So that is equal to, so two times two is four and five times two is ten. There you go. However, if we come back down here, we're, we're going to use the same fraction Okay, so it's two fifths, and we multiply it by, and that's, it's essentially a one. Let's say it's three times three times three, top and bottom, and that is equal to two times three is six, and five times three is 15. So if you come across a problem where it's four tenths, and you're looking for comparing, so these are you know, we're, we're showing equivalency, so 4 tenths, and we have 6 fifteenths. <coughs> and we're comparing, we're going, huh, it looks like this is more, but wait a minute, this could be more, how do I get to it? Well, I can look at this and I go, wait a minute, you know, a, co a common denominator here, to get it down to its smallest uh, fraction, I can say, well, well, hold on a second. I know that four tenths is equal to two fifths. And let's see here. Let's take a look at, uh, you know, the comp. You know, there's a common factor between these two, which is three. So I would just divide that by three. Divide that by three, and that is equal to. Let's take a look. So six divided by three is two. Three or fifteen divided by three is <coughs> is five. Look at that. Say those are equivalent as well. There's, those are equal. So these are equivalent fractions. No matter if you start out with one fraction and you multiply it by different numbers, that as long as it's the same number top and bottom, they're always going to be equivalent. So when you have a test or a quiz that has it where, hey, I have three eighths. Show me two more. Equivalent fractions, I can easily multiply that by 2 by 2 and get 6 sixteenths. Uh, if I have 27 30 seconds, I can multiply it by 2, but hold on a second. I can also multiply it by 10. 
by 10, and that's going to equal to 270 over 320. So as long as I multiply the top and bottom by the same number, I'm creating equivalent fractions. Thank you for watching Mr. Woods Teaches. And remember, math fluency replaces math anxiety. Like, subscribe, and share.